I choose the attitude of gratitude. This has been a great series and we got one more exercise for you to do to help you always choose the attitude of gratitude because it's a choice and when you make better choices, you will live a better life. So choose well, oh yeah. In the last video, we had you draw something, but this time we want you to write something. Don't worry about spelling, do the best you can, but I want you to have this contest with your, not a contest, but more of a game with your entire class, including your teacher. Maybe the teacher can set a timer for 30 seconds. You can write down as many things you can that you're thankful for, you're grateful for. Again, we use the word grateful and thankful. They're synonyms to kind of the same, mean the same thing. Then after the timer goes off, maybe some of you can share what you wrote. And if anybody in the classroom has the same thing you have, you have to cross it off your piece of paper. When you go through the whole list, whoever has anything left gets points for each thing that somebody else didn't say. Now, the truth is, this game is not about winning. It's about showing gratefulness. Because as you listen to other people around the room share what they're grateful for, it'll make sure you remember what you're grateful for. And I want you to focus on not just things. Well, I'm thankful for my car or my, my PX5 or my, my PlayStation 21. Do they have a PlayStation 21 yet? I don't know. What about your family? What about your friends? What about your health? All those things matter too, not just physical things that we possess. Like for an example, I have the ability to breathe and I'm grateful for that. So think about the little things, the big things, the intermediate things, the small things, medium things, all the things in your life that you'd be grateful for. Then your teacher can set a, a, a timer for a minute and then do it again for a whole minute and then maybe 90 seconds, maybe two minutes, just to see how many things you can write down that you're grateful for. And I will tell you this, when you finish exercise, you will be choosing the attitude of gratitude because you'll see so many things that not only you are grateful for, but people around the room. Gratefulness is contagious. As all of you share how much you're grateful for, it'll make everybody smile and have a better day because it's a choice. What's a choice? Everything's a choice, including the attitude of gratitude. Let's say it one more time for our series and hopefully you will have some great dreams about saying it too. I choose the attitude of gratitude. And it's a choice, and when you make better choices, you will live a better life. So choose well. Oh, yeah.